guys welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to show you guys how i got my birthday photo shoot look together this is going to be a little bit of a tutorial and a little bit of a talk through but nonetheless we getting started so i started with this burgundy from this color pop palette that my friend diola actually curated for me for my birthday so shout out to her and i just packed that into my crease without blending then i went in with this reddish brown from the james charles palette and packed that into my crease and started to lightly blend with that smaller blending brush that i packed it on with i was having a great time guys i was listening to a lot of music so you're gonna see me dancing a lot but i packed those two colors in together then i went in with fawn from anastasia beverly hills and began to blend that out you could have just used a plain blending brush without any additional product on it but i like to use that fawn color because i feel like sometimes my lines are harsh even though i blend it out pause for the dance break i blend it out as best as i possibly can so using a neutral tone color allows those lines to not be as harsh so i just did a lot a lot a lot of blending because i wanted this to be a deep crease but i didn't want to look like i got punched in both my eyes so after that i went in with a dark brown and i started on the outer corner because i wanted that to be the darkest part and just gradually brought it inward because this is where i will be cutting that crease i decided to use a cooler tone brown i don't really have any explanation as to why i just felt right i guess and then i went in with the reddish brown again to just blend everything together to make sure that there were no harsh lines anywhere to be found Went ahead and cut my crease with that P. Louise base. I believe I use a shade three. It'll all be in the description box. And then went in with this iridescent pink from the ColourPop palette that Viola created for me. Um, I wanted to go do a pink ombre on the lid. So we went from this light pink to a hot pink which was also in that color pop palette as well. I used some of the pink from the Moroccan Spice, the Fenty Moroccan Spice palette as well, because I wanted to be super duper pink on that lid. So you're just watching me go back and forth between all of those colors. Then I went back in with black and brown on the outer corner because I wanted it to be dark and sultry and sexy. Then I used a matte pink, a matte hot pink from the James Charles palette to kind of highlight that hot pink I was going for. And then I started packing in mad glitter. So I used a light pink glitter that matches the metallic on the lid and then a hot pink glitter that matches the hot pink on the lid as well because we wanted it to be super pink, super ombre, super everything, just extra. It's my birthday. I want to be extra. I want to feel extra. So that's all I'm doing here. We're just packing it in layers and layers. You can't spread glitter. You got to pack it. So that's just all I'm doing. Went in with a wing. Y'all know me. Signature wing. It's not Rachel if it don't got a wing on it. And we ain't talking about eyeliner. We talking about me flying. Because I want to fly high in this world. So, add in my wing. If you want a tutorial on that, that'll be in the description box as well. So, after that, I just cleaned up underneath my eyes. Got rid of the excess glitter, eyeshadow, everything. Added concealer. I wanted to put concealer underneath my foundation. Since Fenty foundation is not full coverage. It's full medium to buildable. So, instead of building the foundation, I kind of just use concealer under it sometimes. So, I can get that full coverage effect. After that, I still put concealer over the foundation as well as contoured and all things of that sort. And then boom, we set to perfection. There's a lot of videos of me fully showing you guys how I contour and stuff like that. So I don't want to be too repetitive. So I didn't want to do it in this one. But I just love how I look after I set my face. So I always love to include that in the process of dusting off my powder because a lot of people are like, how do you bake without looking ghosty? This is how I do it. So I decided that although this was so fire, this was not enough. So I went in with the Suva Beauty Hydra FX liner and I mixed a little bit of the Dance Party liner as well as Tracksuit, which is the blue and the green to kind of get this, I mean, the blue and yellow to kind of get this limeish green. And we just made this cute little line. I had to take some selfies, you know, send out some selfies, show the progress pics that I had going on. And then I still wasn't done had to add some razzle dazzle to the inner corner i just took the same iridescent pink added that to the inner corner as well as the rose gold highlighter from anastasia beverly hills we add mascara we add blush this wasn't actually blush this was one of the pink the peaches i think from the james charles palette i wanted to go for a blush that was a little bit more pink and all my blushes are super peach highlighted with my anastasia beverly hills highlighter 
hydration break lip liner. I went in with a dark brown pencil. This is a hair store pencil, beauty store dark brown. And then fortune cookie from NYX, as well as this nudish color. I don't know the name of it from Milani. It's one of their lip plumping glosses, literally my favorites. And guess what guys, that's the look, that is the beat. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you love the look. I hope you're ready for more because there's always more to come. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Rachel Esther. Never forget. Milo, never forget. Stay beautiful, stay booming, and stay blessed. Milo said bye, guys. <laughs>